Live from London, England, it's theCUBE. Covering .next Conference Europe 2018. Brought to you by Nutanix. Welcome back, I'm Stu Miniman. You're watching theCUBE's coverage of Nutanix.next 2018 in London, England. Yup Piskar is my co-host for two days of live coverage. And happy to welcome back to the program Dan McConnell, who's the hey. Vice President of Open HCI Solutions at Dell EMC. Dan, great to see you again. Great to, great to be back. Always, right. always a pleasure to see you guys. Yeah, so Dan, actually the first time I met you was the same time I first met Yoop, was at the uh, Vienna show two years ago. Uh, Dell has you know, multi-year uh, you know, partnership uh, with Nutanix. I see you stateside uh, you know, here and there at, at some Dell events also. Um, but uh, you know, Dell is you know, Nutanix's you know, biggest, biggest at partner as an OEM, so you know, give us the just, state of the state. Just actually ju just crossed I think last quarter crossed over a billion dollars in sales. Right. Um, uh, yeah, and, I, and I think overall, I, said, I think Dirich said that $3 billion worth of total sales, so a billion of that through Dell, that, that, that's, that's pretty impressive. Yep, yep, and it's, you know, I, I jokingly say biggest quarter ever. Um, you know, <laughs> every quarter is the biggest quarter ever. Uh, you know, and uh, we, we expect Q4 yet, yet to be the biggest quarter ever. <laughs> um, so it's, it's uh, a, a strong business, continues to grow, you know, over 2,000 customers and growing, yeah. um, continues to be a good partnership. That, 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 it, it's funny, you say, but it's not joking, it is every quarter is the biggest quarter yeah. ever, despite some people in the marketplace, oh well that relationship's dead, yeah. right? So t t talk to us a little bit about the portfolio Absolutely. and where it fits, because obviously the revenue numbers speak for themselves, the, the customers I, uh, and the like, so. Absolutely, you know. yeah, I, 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 uh, I guess my, my easiest way to describe it is HCI is, it's a style of architecture, right? Um, just like in the old three-tier land, we had multiple arrays and, and our servers support multiple operating systems. Just like in, in HCI, we're going to address the market with a portfolio. We've got more than one product. It is a portfolio to address the whole market. Um, so, uh, you know, I, 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 the partnership continues, strong focus on enabling the, the Nutanix stack. You know, it, we're going to be the best hardware infrastructure solution for the Nutanix stack. Um, it's, a, it's a portfolio approach. It, it's what makes us uh, the, the leader in HCI across all of our products, um, and, it, and it, it will continue forward. So uh, I know we, we always get that, well you've got multiple HCI products, which one will win? HCI is a style of architecture we're going to have a portfolio. Yeah, we, we, we saw that in the CI space, we see it in every market, there's, you know, especially storage, there's never been uh, somebody that tend to get more than 20 or 30% yep. uh, of the market. Yeah. So what, what makes it special? You know, running, running Nutanix on Dell, what, what, what makes it special? Why, do, why would customers want to do that? Uh, let's see, how long do we have? <laughs> um, uh, the easiest description here, uh, one, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll focus on LCM, life cycle management, the thing that is core to uh, Nutanix, ease of use, one click, I'll, I'll, I'll use the one click. Um, uh, we actually have the best integration into their overall LCM package. Um, it literally is one click from, from the Prism UI to update all of the server firmware as well, and it's cluster aware. So we know how to evacuate, we know how to flash stuff, bring it and repatriate the data. So it's, it's, uh, it's actually, um, it's something we have that, that no one else has. We are, once again, like I said before, we will, we will be the best hardware platform, best infrastructure to fit in uh, to the uh, Nutanix stack. I'll, I'll say stack these days, because um, what, what was a, once HCI is now a, a, a list of single word <laughs> products that, uh, that, is, that is a pretty big stack and growing. So you know, zooming into the LCM bit a little bit. So back when I was at a customer, I built IS platforms, um, and you know that whole operational pain of keeping hardware up to date, keeping the firmwares up to date. You know that sounds like a very you know operational benefit for the teams working with those products. Um, so how does this work into you know freeing up time for you know people doing other stuff on on that platform? Um, that is that is. Uh what I would say, that is the whole goal, right? I, I hate, hate to fall into catchphrases, but in, invisible infrastructure. Um, the goal is to make the entire infrastructure easy to use, simple, um, invisible, such that uh, it, more and more, uh, IT is, is becoming the differentiation piece for businesses. 
um, focusing much more upstack in how to innovate around the business logic side of the equation as opposed to the infrastructure componentry. Um, so there's, you know, as, as IT becomes an innovation engine for customers, they need that focus more towards the business, less towards the bits and bytes of the infrastructure. All of what we do is, you know, is, is focus to enable that. So, so even if you're talking about you know, making infrastructure invisible, making it easy to operate and manage, you know, there's still a lot going on in, your, in the infrastructure space, spe specifically around hardware and around running applications. So one of the things I learned is that you are now certified to run SAP on top of it. So please explain you know, how that works, what it means for customers. Absolutely, absolutely. I, you know, I, I don't know, we sat, sat on places like this uh, four years ago and, and people would ask, well what workloads are good for, v, for, uh, for HCI? And we'd say, you know, test dev and BDI. And it, it, nowadays it's, it's, it's everywhere. You know, it's, it's what workloads aren't good for HCI. And, and you know, I would have told you, you know, two years ago, well, big, big databases, blah, 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 but at, at this point, um, you know, everything's moving to HCI. H H HCI has been uh, uh, a, the style of infrastructure that can run <laughs> any workload, um, and uh, our, our certification with SAP is just a, a, a huge instantiation with that. Matter of fact, um, I, I, I believe we are the only one that has a two socket and a four socket certified from an HCI perspective. Um, something we're very proud of, something we'll continue to lean into um, moving forward. Yeah, yeah, Dan, Dan, absolutely. When I've been talking to customers, it's those edge cases. It was, you know, my AS400, I haven't migrated over <laughs> because I'm actually going to modernize and put that stuff in the cloud or, or things like that. Um, so, any application, uh, you know, on, on HCI today, uh, Nutanix hasn't been sitting still though. We've been listening for the last two days, uh, really growing the portfolio. Uh, what, what is uh, the increase in products? What, what does that mean to sure. the offerings from Dell? Sure. I, obviously, we'll we'll keep up with the with the Intel heartbeat, right? Things like we, we have a pretty big refresh coming up here early next year with uh, what Intel calls Cascade Lake. Um, and uh, also, not just keeping up with the generations, but uh, as Nutanix evolves, things like buckets, you probably heard buckets uh, mentioned uh, uh, this week. Uh, we've got some hardware platforms, I won't, I won't pre-announce uh, any of my uh, Power Edge Brethren uh, platforms, but we have some, some, some hardware platforms that are focused much more around storage density. Um, so obviously a, a uh, great fit for something like buckets. So we'll, we'll look at, as, as Nutanix matures, what, what is the best fit hardware for that stack? Yeah, uh, and maybe th there's been some updates as to how you handle the hardware and software working with Nutanix. Uh, maybe explain how that works now. Right. Absolutely. So we've we've got uh, you know we we call it uh, XC series and XC core um, series is the appliance. It uh, continues on just as as it was. It is uh, you know software licensed and packaged with the hardware. Um, and then uh, recently we we announced something called XC core, which has all of the goodness of the pre-installation, all the software comes on it, it's easy to use, but the licensing, you can, you can bring your own licensing, so to speak, from Nutanix. Um, so the flexibility, flexibility to either get uh, uh, licensing with the, the hardware and appliance form, or bring your own license in XC Core, as, a, as is what we call it. Yeah, that's really interesting. You know, I, when I think back a year ago was when Nutanix started talking about moving to all software. Yep. And you know, one of the things I said is like, hey, this is a great opportunity for Dell and Lenovo just to pull everyone in. But it's not that simple, right? So some are still going to want to buy the, the software from Nutanix. Yep. Have you seen much change in, in your business and interactions with customers in the field after that change, or I, how's it gone? Short answer is no. Yeah. Um, I, I, and B before the formal introduction of Core, we were, um, you know, we had we, we called them ELAs. Yeah. You know, it, uh, we had we had large customers that that, that were buying things uh, in different forms, which is why we went went to go do Core. We saw this trend happening, um, and and with their with their shift to software, it just made sense. Um, so you know, the, the the engagements with with customers can continue to be. Um, I'd say in almost in an appliance form, even though they're buying the the, the software directly through Nutanix. Um, so it's 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 a similar engagement, similar go-to-market, different fulfillment model. Um, 
Dan, how about looking forward? What, what do you see for the portfolio overall and uh, any places specifically we should be watching? You mentioned buckets, uh, anything else from the Nutanix side? Sure, sure, I, you know, I, um, obviously continue the LCM focus. Um, uh, well, one, I'll, I'll, I'll start with SAP. Continue focus, I, we're going to lean into SAP, we see that. Uh, and and, and uh, uh, broader, what, what I would call enterprise workloads. Um, but, but also uh, the Intel refresh coming up from a, from a uh, hardware perspective, you'll see Cascade Lake roll out across all the platforms. Also, you'll see us introduce, uh, or potentially introduce some, uh, some new denser storage platforms for things like buckets. Um, so, co continuing to drive the, the portfolio forward, offering it both in an in a appliance perspective as, as well as a core perspective, um, so it, it's a it's a really broad portfolio today, and you'll you'll see that continue. Yeah, forward. yeah. Just actually, so you, you mentioned that there was a big focus talking about uh, you know the uh, the the new memory uh, type of options, uh, new things like NVMe. Uh, you know, I, I know I've heard lots from Dell as to where they're going. So potentially that's that's areas where I would see that, yeah. and some of the cloud native applications and the like uh, seem a natural fit for uh, Nutanix plus Dell in the future. Sure, absolutely. You'll see, you know incorporation of NVMe, um, some of the storage class memory stuff. Um, so I, without pre-announcing, so to speak, um, I, I obviously uh, Dell, from a, from a harder perspective, keen focus on these upcoming technologies and how to enable them. We work tightly with Nutanix on, on how to integrate them into the stack. Um, so you will definitely see us take advantage of things like NVMe, things like storage class memory. Um, it, uh, it, you know, it's, it, 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 technology never sits still, right? And we're going to, you know, the partnership we have between Nutanix and Dell helps us keep um, on the edge of that. Sorry, I'm going to use the edge word. <laughs> All right, we, if we had another hour, Dan, we, we would go there and talk about uh, <laughs> we, you know, where that fits, but I think we do have to leave it there. Thanks so much, Dan, uh, for the updates as always. Congratulations uh, on the progress and look forward to hearing the, the uh, best quarter ever, uh, you know, in, in the future. Uh, and thanks so much for watching theCUBE. We'll be back with lots more coverage here from Nutanix 2018 EU in London, England. Thanks for watching theCUBE. Hi, I'm Stu Miniman.